chapter in which God's chosen people from the flood repopulate the earth. The entire earth repopulated without mention of a single woman. Stick around. We are now 10 chapters into the Bible, and so far we've seen no love or mercy, no joy, no happiness, nothing. Just judgment, pain, fear, death, and of course blood. In this chapter, we'll once again be beguiled by boring begats for pretty much the entire chapter, but things will start to pick up from here. The Tower of Babel and the story of Abraham are coming soon, and I think you're going to love my thoughts on Abraham. Okay, so this chapter is the biggest sausage party yet in the Bible. It's going to tell us of all the descendants of the three sons of Noah and how they are the ancestors of all the tribes of these various peoples throughout the world. And not a single woman is mentioned. The complete repopulation of the earth and the spawning of hundreds of nations, yet not a single mom, sister, daughter, or wife is ever named. A recurring theme in the Book of Death is it strives to keep the boot of men on the throats of women. Okay, before we get too far along, I need to warn you that you will be kicked out of Eden and eternally damned to watch lesser YouTube channels unless you click that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. So, you better do that now. Okay. On with the show. In previous chapters, women were at least mentioned in one fashion or another, even if it was only to say that a man had sons and daughters. But not in this chapter. They are completely invisible. But it does kind of make sense. Women were clearly things to be possessed and birth slaves to be used to have sons. It's only our modern notions of equality that make us feel like they deserve some form of credit. Many goats were used for milk and meat to feed these sons, yet goats aren't mentioned or acknowledged. Many donkeys were used to carry them to and fro, yet they don't name the donkeys. And many tents were used to cover them from the heat and the cold, yet the tents aren't mentioned either. So why should the women be any different? This chapter is nothing but a waste of space. There were some people the author didn't like, so he vilified them by making them the descendants of someone he saw as bad, or who was seen as bad in earlier chapters of the Bible. Ham, for the sin of seeing his father naked, was cursed. Oh wait, that's right. Noah didn't curse Ham for seeing him naked. He cursed Ham's son. Canaan, an innocent child who had nothing to do with the sin of the father as far as the text reveals. And Canaan's descendants go on to be the bad guys in later stories. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah are descendants of Canaan, murdered by God for their sinful ways. And Moses in the Hebrews slaughtered who to get to the promised land? That's right the Canaanites, the namesake descendants of Canaan himself. Misogyny, 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 murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill. Exactly what you'd expect from the evil god monster of Abraham and its book of death. Don't get eternally damned to lesser YouTube channels. Click subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Are you enjoying the series so far? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I do and you'd like to support my cause, follow the link in the description below to my Patreon and find a tier that works for you. Thank you and take care.